Slothfulness is a destroyer of destiny. Nothing works without somebody at work. Work. God the Father, work. God the Son, work. So where are you coming from? You find believers doing nothing. I'm believing God. I'm believing God. God is just laughing. <laughs> Whatever your hand find there to do, do it with all your might. People are just hiding on that nonsense. They call it faith. Those who place pressure before labor, they live perpetually under pressure. Unveiling the fundamentals of success. Now, let me repeat again that success, outstanding success, never heard of kind of success. It's not your ambition, it's your birthright. You are redeemed as the light of the world, the salt of the earth. A citizen are here that cannot be hidden. So it's, it's not that you are very ambitious or you are over ambitious. No, you are not ambitious at all. It's your birthright. Redemption is ordained to reposition you and I on top of the world. But not all men can receive this thing because of they have allowed their present circumstances to be cloud their holy minds. What is a man looking for? Them? To eat and drink and then send children to school. That's a man. Satan says it's more than enough. More than enough. You don't want to send children to school. Send one to school. Send one to the farm. <laughs> I mean, he negotiates you out of your inheritance. You saw how Satan, through Pharaoh, was negotiating the freedom of Israel. If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Psalm 11 and verse 2. Three, if the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? So we need to be conscious of the foundation to every provision of scriptures. So we don't we don't we won't miss out. One of the fundamentals of success is the force of diligence. Diligence. Its naked, naked name is hard work. Hard work. It has no software for software Christians. Hard work means working hard. <laughs> Even though you are led to the world ordained to shine with global relevance, yet you will stink without hard work. Slothfulness is a destroyer of destiny. Nothing works without somebody at work. And God finished his work. Genesis chapter 2, verse 1 to 3. Some fellows, are, they are celebrating their vision and they are living in frustration. Why? You don't run. No vision will see the light of day. Let him run the reader and keep running. And don't stop running. You want to see fulfilled. Jesus said unto them, My meat is to do the will of him and to finish his work. Work. God the Father, work. God the Son, work. So where are you coming from? There are too many I do people in the body of Christ today. There are too many I do people. They call themselves full-time players. Uh, prayer, uh, ministers, some of them, but they are full-time players. You find believers doing nothing. I'm believing God. I'm believing God. God is just laughing. <laughs> so I will bat for you, Abby. Now believe in me. I will cook for you. If a man does not provide for his house, of the people of his own household, he has denied the face, and it's worse than an infidel. First Timothy 5:8. Yet he who does not work, let him not eat. So how can he provide for his house? Second Thessalonians 3 10. You don't work, you're not permitted to eat. So how can you not provide for your house? Wake up, my friend. One young man in Liberia said he read from my little uh, booklet, Wisdom Diary on Diligence. Living without working 
is dying without knowing. Living without walking is dying without knowing. Living without walking. Okay, I'm looking for a job in a company. Okay, do the company you see now. Whatever you have, find it to do. If you want to eat, do it with all your might. This uh, purported global minister has taught in primary school before. Amen. By choice. No damn time for me. Now I'm now teaching the entire world from one spot. Wake up. If I don't get a job in the bank, I won't work. You won't eat. <laughs> Go and start a bank. Many people just do funny, funny things. I want a job in foreign mission, uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs. Go and start one. They don't have vacancy, and, and that's where you must work. And next ten years, they don't have vacancy until you are not qualified for interview anymore. No. Whatever your hand find that to do, do it with all your might. People are just hiding on that nonsense. They call it faith. Jesus is the author. A definition of our faith. Jesus said, I must walk. Come and say, I must. John 9, 4. I must walk. Now, Jesus, the author of faith, said, my father walked either too, and I walk. So, where is your faith coming from? I'm jealously guarding these fundamentals in my life. That's why things are working. Somebody said, take it easy. I say, if I took it easy, will you be here? <laughs> if I take it easy, you, the way you are talking, will you be here? <laughs> I want your taste for work to come alive. I want your taste for work to come alive. See, as that man that is diligent in his business, he shall stand before kings. He shall not stand before amen. I got that gift, 1982, that Jesus gave to me. This short hand has been filled to shake all kinds of hands in this world. Demonic hands. <laughs> <laughs> Business leaders, political leaders, presidents of nations. Amen. C.S. Diamond that is diligent in his business. When we were 10, I will prepare. They would say, well, I'm preparing now, not that I just started. With zeal and zest and no sleep. When you have had enough from God. Now that telephone came, people have lost their work ethics to telephoning. Hello? Are you hearing me? Okay, I'll call you back. Hello, sir. <laughs> and it's been that to a non-business connected or related cause. <laughs> people are just so relaxed on the phone. I say, what's the matter? When I call team members, I just go straight. Not hello. He has picked it as hello. <laughs> and he knows I'm the one calling him. So what is the point introducing myself? Life in the kingdom of praise on the covenant platform of seed time and harvest. You never get out of life more than what you are committed to invest into it. Why the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest shall not cease. Now listen, 
Position does not connote relevance. Otherwise, all these appointments here and there that people have in public sector and corporate sector, why has it not enhanced their relevance? There's no position, it's contribution. The, the, your product, your value, what to bring it on board. There are many founders of churches and ministries who are suffering. Our members are putting to work what they teach and they are triumphant. Amen. And they are triumphant. They don't think that teaching affects them. They can't do it for the people. No. We are part of the people. Jesus is the one teaching. The Spirit of your Father is the one that speaks in you. So he's speaking to all of you, including the one that's speaking. Let's wake up and take responsibility. Nothing works without someone at work. There is nothing in doing nothing. The slogan shall not so by reason of the cold. Therefore shall he beg in harvest and have nothing. Beg in harvest and have nothing. You sow sparingly, you reap sparingly. You sow bountifully, you reap. The people think it applies only to giving. No. It applies to investment of your time, energy, and resources. You sow sparingly, you reap sparingly. You sow bountifully, you reap bountifully. Only hard workers emerge as high flyers in the race of life. Only hard workers. There's a young man by the name um, Isaac Newton. He was so busy in his laboratory at home. The wife said the food and called him. Uh, I'll be there in a the moment. He forgot. He got so busy. So when he remembered, oh, I was called the other time for food. So he came in and saw that they have cleared the food to keep it warm. Oh, I forgot I've eaten. I for you get the joke? I forgot that I've eaten. People are so lazy today. That food is uppermost. They sit down around food as if it's an entrapment. I remember on my, uh, is it one bad day like that? My bad day. And, uh, I was already crossing a court and writing a note to my daddy. Ah! Today's my bad day, my God. So I called my wife from Enugu and I said, You didn't remind me that today's my bad day. She also forgot. People have told me their birthday more than 20 times. <laughs> if I have to put all of that in my calendar every day, I want about four, four, <laughs> four bad days or six. So if you see me, when is your birthday? Tell me. But I can't load all of that. Yeah, it's limited. Amen. How can you forget? I say I forgot my own. So what was your problem? <laughs> now watch. Jesus, a hard worker. And the Holy Ghost, eternal worker. He shall abide with you forever. I send you a comforter and he will abide with you forever. You can read that from John chapter 14 and verse 16 to 18. Forever. And Doing what? He will teach you all things. Verse 26. You will remember all things. Whatsoever you have heard of me. So he's a, he's a forever worker. So God the Father. A creative worker. God the Son. Tireless worker. God the Holy Ghost. A forever worker. And they live in you. So where did you get your own from? Faith is no substitute for hard work. Those who place pleasure before labor, they live perpetually under pressure. 
it is labor before pleasure. Prepare thy work in the field. Make it fit for thyself. And afterwards, build thy house. Proverbs 27. And afterwards, build thy house. You prepare your work first in the field. You make it fit for thyself. And then you can build your house. Get that scripture for me. It is labor before pleasure. Or you live perpetually under pleasure. He that loveth pleasure shall be a poor man. He that loveth wine and oil shall not be rich. Don't take it easy, oh, take it hard. Or you miss your place. Warn to them that are at ease in Zion. A child that sleeps in harvest, a son that sleeps in harvest, a son that causes shame. Let's wake up and walk while it is day. The night comes when no man can walk. There is no star without a scar, I often say. And this car of sacrifice, I mean, the this, this scar of every star is sacrifice. There are those who, are not, who have never read their best, talk less of going beyond their best. Let's wake up and enjoy it. Let's enjoy it. It's the gift of God. Come and say, work is a gift. Not a curse. Work is a gift. Billy Graham once said, all temptations, I mean, some temptations come to all men. Some temptations come to all men, but all temptations come to the idol. Whatever your hand find there to do, you engage with it with all your might. What you are looking for is not there yet, but make the most of what you have now. Engage maximally in it, and then you experience a change of story. In Jesus' precious name,